I will be your host. I'm John, and I'm doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of transplanting. I just showed you my video on how I do my seed starting mix, and I think I, I think I'm gonna show you guys how to how to transplant, how I transplant, because I haven't showed you guys that yet. I haven't done a video on that, so. I'm just going to show you a few different varieties. I have peppers, tomatoes here. I also have lupins. Lupins are a really nice flower to have in the garden. They attract butterflies and bees. And they are perennial, so they will come back year after year. So this is basically, I have two types of tomatoes here, right out right now. I have a rootgerd tomato, which is an or a determinate tomato. It will keep putting out, um, Keep, it, will, it will grow up until a certain point, then it'll stop growing and put out all of its tomatoes at once. And this is how I would plant it. I take off all, even though it looks like, you know, you're saying, oh, John, you shouldn't be doing that. No, you got to do it. Got to do this. You got to take these. Hope you guys can see that. Turn my screen around. See if I can make it line up the shot. There you go. Uh, clip this guy. This guy off. Those two guys. There's a there's this little sucker there. And clip that guy off. And I don't do it with your hand. I've done it with my hand before. I've screwed it up. I've pulled off and then the skin on the the branch kind of came down. It won't hurt the tomato much, but you know, it's just bad. I wouldn't do it. So you just measure it, you put your pot inside of the other pot, your new transplant pot, and the soil is probably going to come up to that, that cut I just made. So I did need to bring that branch off. Tomatoes, you can plant deeper in pots because they have all these little, all these little root hairs. Let's see if I can, you guys can see that. See all these little root hairs? All of those will grow roots. All, every single one of them. So they are benef they're the one of the few very plants part of the nightshade family that actually will benefit from planting them deeper. And in the garden, when you plant them, plant them as deep as you can get these suckers. If you need to have to take off these branches right here and just leave like one little spriggly branch right here on, and then the, the growing tip, do so, because they will benefit from it enormously. These here have been in these three inch pots for about two to three weeks or so two to three weeks or so these been in these pots and they're this big because i planted them as deep as i could get them to the bottom and you can see the roots right there kind of coming out on the bottom of this guy so i'm gonna show you how to do that you just tip it over squeeze the sides i like plastic pots for that reason and it's it's pretty root bound it's pretty bad I, I would have liked to have planted them sooner, but I just didn't have the money, the resources to get more uh, potting soil or more of these containers. I found these at Walmart, by the way. Their six inch containers are around there for about a, a, a buck. They're 98 cents, so they're pretty good. So you just, you just put soil all around it, just like you normally would transplant. And you just fill her up, tap it down on the ground, fill it up again. I, I don't do too much pushing on the soil. I rather just use tapping as my method to settle it. And that's that's it right there. That's that's one transplanted tomato. So I'm, I'll do the rest of them off camera for the tomatoes, but I'm going to move on to pepper plant. Which one do I want to do? I think I'll, I'll do this one's probably the biggest. Now peppers, you, you you can plant them deeper if you have a little wobbly plant. Mine's kind of wobbly. But I'm not going to plant them deeper because just due to the fact that I am going to uh, be using the Praxis pruning method or the Ray from Praxis Channel's pruning method on these when they get a little bit taller in these pots. I'm going to be using that method. I'm going to, to prune them when they're about, you know, I would say this this much taller. I'm going to snip them down to where they are are right now, and they're going to put shoots out like they they're already doing right now. 
but it'll thicken the the stem. It, it'll make it so that this isn't so so wobbly. It's not flopping around everywhere in the wind, and it'll make it just a much healthier plant, and you'll, it'll increase yields. And I've seen that happen on on Praxis's peppers, and I'm going to do it this year because I know that it can it can increase yields, and you will get higher yields along with whatever fertilizers you're using or growing methods uh, along with this pruning method. So. Put that label back in there. All right, so I'm just gonna take another pot here. Same dealio. You just kind of you just tip it. Try not to get soil everywhere. That is actually perfect when it comes to it's not too root bound. You can see the roots there. They're nice and healthy looking. And you just want to grab a couple, little bit of soil, put it in there. Grab a little soil, put it in there. Try to match up where you had it before. That's about right. You can leave a little bit of a gap for watering so you can water and keep the water in there. And then you're just gonna fill around the plant. Try not to bury any leaves because those will be still on the plant. They're not getting chopped off. The top ones get chopped off, but. There you go. Do a little tapping. Add a little bit more. Right on this side. A little more over here. A little more over there. Just kind of pat that down a bit. Try to get all the leaves out of the soil. And there you go. That's your transplanted pepper. This is a pepperoncini. I have uh, three types of peppers. I just ordered another type of pepper. I don't know if I'm going to grow them this year. I might start them out because it's not too late yet to start seeds if I just I get them sometimes next week, but sometime next week. Can't talk. But I don't know. I might, might be doing that. Might not. We'll see how it goes. Alright. So, the lupin. I got this as a transplant from a from my local garden store, uh, Wilco. It's one that's in Oregon. I don't think it's around uh, any other place other than Oregon, but I could be wrong. I'd, I'm going to put it in this pot because I bought this pot at that the same location uh, because I'm actually going to give this to my girlfriend as a kind of a gift. I think she'll like it. She likes flowers. They didn't have any roses there, so I'm looking at the next best thing that really looks beautiful in, in, a, in a pot. I found that uh, lupins would probably, she would probably like a lot, so I bought those for her. But I'm going to show you guys how to plant those. So, maybe do a little digging here. Make a little spot. And this is how I usually do it. I usually just, you know, if I don't feel like taking soil out I just dig a little side that looks about maybe about perfect to me I don't know put a... that's about there so now I'm gonna take my, my plant out same way I did before squeeze on the sides squeeze on the sides this one's maybe a little root bound it seems like it pretty big plant for being such a small little nursery pot. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's freaking root bound. I'm not going to touch any of the roots. I'm going to leave them alone. I'm not going to move a little bit deeper. There you go. Alright, now just go around the plant. On the plant. Now when I'm planting uh, little baby seedlings, I do not use this method. I use, I don't know, it, you could call it lazy, I guess. Hi. Hi. How you doing, doggers? Got my garden helper over here. Just getting all up in my face. She wants to know what I'm doing. And there we go. Just gonna firm it down a bit. A little tap. 
and there you go. That's that's all it takes. Boom. One lupin planted. I have another lupin over here, but it's going in the garden out front. And that's how I transplant. That's how many other people transplant too. But if you find yourself on my video, I'll, I, I just showed you how to do it. I'll put that, that tag back in there. Lupin. And I'm going to transplant the rest of these. And hope you guys have a great day. And uh, a great week. And happy spring break. I'm on spring break right now. I have a lot of things planned. That's going to be a, a nice spring break. And, uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a, a great time. And I'm out of here. Please subscribe. I just really wanted to add really quick to the end of this, uh, this planting video, my transplanting video, this recipe that I have for uh, garlic. Uh, molasses and fertilizer spray. It's for bug repellent. It keeps the bugs away uh, from your crops. Most of them, it, it won't keep ants away. That's one thing that you need to keep away um, using bait for ants or uh, it'll deter slugs but it won't like fully make them not eat the plant. They do prefer certain plant slugs so if they, they really like that plant they're not they're gonna go for it. But this is a systemic spray and you just you use uh, I'm gonna post the the, um, the the ingredients down in the description but uh, um, you just use uh, around two two table tablespoons of of garlic two tablespoons of garlic maybe one I would say try one first if it doesn't smell strong enough try do two um, use one teaspoon of organic molasses and then use a one to two teaspoons of water soluble or uh, fertilizer that's in liquid form because that's the best fertilizer. It's more readily available to the plant and nothing really too high on the NPK rating. You can be like one, one, one or like, you know, in the point, the points. That's probably the best thing because then it's, it's full of macronutrients instead of micronutrients or micronutrients, sorry micronutrients instead of macronutrients and then it, it'll help the microbiologicals in the soil also it'll help the microbiologicals that are living within a, a live plant so that's the that recipe and i'll post that in the description again and uh i'd just like to thank everybody for watching and have everybody have a nice week and uh please subscribe